Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's session, we will see how to implement a priority queue using linked list. So here we are trying to implement the priority queue with the help of single linked list. So in case of priority queue, every data is associated with the priority. So when you want to insert a node into a priority queue, we need to check the priority of other node and accordingly we need to insert it. As well as when you want to delete a data, from priority queue or we can say the DQ operation is performed on priority queue, we are removing a high priority node from our priority queue. Here we will first discuss what will be the node structure for the priority queue. So definitely we have data as well as we need to add priority. So that was a new point we are considering here as compared to our single link list implementation. So here we are just considering the integer priority and third was our next pointer. After that, we will make our linked list as an empty with the help of setting the front equal to null. So when we want to implement the priority queue, there are two possibility by implementation with respect to the priority number. So first possibility is high number, high priority. And second possibility is nothing but low number, high priority. So when you are implementing the priority queue, you need to keep in mind whether you want to work on high number, high priority or low number, high priority. So this priority queue is based on high number, high priority. So for this priority, we are following the rule that is a node X is presets a node Y in priority queue when your X has the high priority than Y. For example, here node 10 having a priority 5 is before a node 20 having a priority 4 and second case is nothing but your both x and y have the same priority but x is added before y so for example here the 20 is added before 30 the reason is that 20 is first come into the priority queue and then 30 is come into the priority queue now we will check with the help of this basic how to perform nq operation in case of your priority queue so when you want to perform the NQ operation on priority queue, there are around three possibilities. First possibility is nothing but your priority queue is empty and in that case you want to add a data into a queue. So how to check your priority queue is empty? So if your front is set to the null, you can say that your priority queue is empty and whatever the new node you are trying to add, that become the front of your priority queue. As well as we need to set it next to the null. So this a node with data 10 and 5 is added into a priority queue. So here we are not maintaining the information of real. Now the second possibility is nothing but your new node has the high priority than your front node. So consider this is existing priority queue with two nodes having the priority 4 and 3. And now I want to add a new node 10 with priority 5. So here, new node priority is 5 and front priority is 4. That means new node has the high priority than your front priority. In that case, we are going to add this new node before front. That means we are making a connection new node next as a front. And after adding new node as a front element for this front, your front is updated from this location and your new node become new front for your priority queue. So here front is updated with the new node. So this is a second case that is new node has the priority more than its front node. Now th third possibility is nothing but your priority of a node is less than priority of all the node present in your linked list. So now you can check here this is existing priority queue having 5, 4 and 3 as a priority and I want to add a node 10 with priority 1. So definitely this node will be added at the end of the priority queue because we are working on high number, high priority. So just to perform this task, we need to first traverse this priority queue and every time we are going to check this priority with new node priority. Then only it is possible for us to reach up to the end and to insert this new node in your priority queue. So for that, this code is given. So now you can assume that this link is currently absent. Okay. So now this is our existing link list and this is our new node we want to add. Right. So now 
so here i want to traverse our priority queue so i will hold the front of my priority queue in a temporary variable so now i want to traverse this priority queue so for that i have given one condition is nothing but temp not equal to null so this condition will be helpful to reach up to the end of your priority queue or if you are on the node having the high priority than a new node okay second case is nothing but temporary priority is new node is greater than or equal to new node priority so here what happen actually you are going to traverse a priority queue so while traversing we are comparing the priority of every node with new node and we want to traverse up to the point when your priority of temporary node is greater than your new node and when it become less at that point we are going to insert a data so these are the two conditions we need to check every time so first our front is pointing to this location that means your temporary pointer is pointing to the front after that we will check temp is equal to null or not so it is not null as well as we will check the temp priority so it is five and five greater than new node priority that is nothing but one this condition is also satisfied so we will go inside the while loop we will update the current with value 20 as well as we will update the temp to the temp next so now my temp is pointing to 30 so again for next iteration temp is pointing to 30 30 is not equal to null this condition will be satisfied as well as temp priority is greater than 1 so this condition is also satisfied so now our current is updated with the temp value and our temp is updated with the temp next so now your temp is pointing to this location and your current is pointing to this location after that again temp is not equal to null as well as temp priority is greater than your new node priority we need to perform again updation that means your current will be moved to this location and your temp is moved to the next location now your temp is pointing to the null so now when you go for the next iteration we will fail and we will come out of the while loop so now your current is pointing to 40 and your temp is pointing to the null and we want to add this new node into a priority queue so in that case we need to set the current next is equal to new node so this link will be created as well as we need to set the new node next is equal to temp so currently your temp is null that means your new node next will be set to the null so now why we are setting it with the temp is nothing but in some time it may happen that if you want to insert a node in between in that case the nodes are present after this node and just to make a connection we are using this statement so now we are going to discuss a third possibility case 2 and that case 2 is nothing but priority of new node is equal to priority of other node which are present in our priority queue so if you want to add a node with equal priority how you are going to perform that task okay so now you can check here i am considering a simple priority queue with node 10 15 and 25 and with priority 5 4 and 3 respectively and i want to add a new node whose priority is 4 so when i want to add this new node into our existing priority queue we are going to compare the priority of every node so whatever task that is whatever the case one for third possibility we already discussed the same code we are going to use and we will check here whether this code will able to add this new node into the priority queue or not okay so now we will first start with the temp hold the data of front so now my temp is pointing to this location now i will check while condition while condition is temp not equal to null this condition will be satisfied and i will check our new node priority is greater than or less than your temp priority so temp priority is currently 5 because temp is pointing to 10 so temp priority is 5 and new node priority is 4 so temp priority is greater in that case we will move forward that means we will update the temp and we will hold the temp value with current variable so here current will updated with the value 10 and my temp is moved to the next location that is nothing but temp is pointing to now 15 again i will enter into the while loop i will check temp not equal to null so currently temp is pointing to 15 and its priority is 4 so temp not equal to null condition satisfy now if you check the priority your temp priority is match with the new node priority 
so condition satisfied we will enter into the loop your current is updated with the temp so now your current is pointing to 15 and your temp is pointing to the next location that is nothing but 25 okay again we will go for the while loop so your temp is not equal to null this condition will be satisfied because 25 not equal to null this condition will be satisfied but when you go for temp priority greater than p temp priority is currently 3 and 3 greater than equal to your node new node priority that is nothing but the 4 this condition will false and we will come out of the while loop so when we come out of the while loop your current is pointing to 15 your temp is pointing to 25 and your new node is pointing to 20 and now i want to make a connection from this 15 to 20 and from this 20 to 25 and i need to remove this connection from this 15 to 25 so for that i can make a statement current next is equal to new node that means this link is created and after that i will make a statement new node next is temp so that means this link is created okay so after adding this 20 into existing priority queue this is the status of my priority queue hope so it is clear to you how the new node with equal priority is added into a priority queue now we will check for the last case with respect to the insertion is nothing but your priority is in between your front and rear priority so now you can check here this is existing priority queue and this is new node i want to insert so existing priorities are 7 5 and 2 i want to insert this new node with priority 4 in between this priority queue that means we are trying to perform insertion in the middle of your single link list so now you can check again we are using the same code and Uh, and we will check this code is helpful for adding this new node into the priority queue or not so now i will again start with the temp temp is hold with the start value or we can say the front value so you can consider it is a front not start okay so temp is currently pointing to 10 i will check our while loop while loop will condition will same that is temp not equal to null condition satisfy and temp priority so temp priority is 7 and your new node priority is 4 this condition is satisfy 7 is greater than 4 i will update the current with temp data that means my my current is pointing to 10 and my temp is pointing to 20 now after that i will again execute the while loop so 20 not equal to null that is temp not equal to null condition satisfy and i will check the priority so current priority of temp is 5 5 greater than 4 condition satisfy i will update the current with temp value so now my current is pointing to 20 and my temp is pointing to 30 now again if i will check for the while loop temp not equal to null this condition will satisfy but temp priority that is 2 greater than 2 this condition will fail and we will come out of the while loop and so after coming out of the while loop i need to make a connection from this 20 to 40 and from 40 to 30 because 5 4 and 2 this sequence i need to maintain with respect to the priority so this 20 is identify with current 40 is identify with new node and 30 is identify with the thing so i can make a statement current next equal to new node and i can make a statement new node next equal to 10 hope so it is clear to you how to perform nq operation in case of your priority queue so here i want to conclude that in case of your nq operation in priority queue there are three possibility first possibility your priority queue is empty second possibility is nothing but your new node has the high priority than your front node itself in third possibility we are considering a three cases first case is nothing but priority of new node is less than all other nodes present in our priority queue so at that time we are performing insertion at the end and second case is nothing but whatever the new node you are trying to add it has a priority equal to other nodes present in your priority queue and third case in case of your possibility 3 is nothing but your priority of new node is in between your front to rear hope so it is clear to you how to implement priority queue using linked list if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you